Hi guys, here I'll be changing my desktop from this boring look to something more artistic and clean. Let's do this together guys, um, without wasting much time we'll go straight to the point. First thing you want to do is to right click on your desktop. Right click on your desktop, then you go up here to view and show desktop icons. So you want to select this. After clicking on that, you don't have any more icons on your desktop. But do not worry, your desktop icons are not deleted. You can go about the same step to enable your desktop icons again. Next thing you want to do, you want to go down to your taskbar, remove any um, item or any icon that you don't need, you know, try to remove it. And here we're going to right click on our desktop again. This time we'll go to personalize. Left click on that. Here you want to scroll down, scroll all the way to your taskbar. Double click on taskbar and as we can see we have all the options toggled on and watch when I toggle this off you see the changes here so like this widget I don't need it so I just toggle it off scroll down again here here we have this touch keyboard which we have down here I toggle it off if we go back up here select this arrow down on the search box here I want to choose this search icon only. As we click on that, we see the changes. And I'm going to toggle this off as well, this chat. I don't need that. That's it about that. So um, let's close it. So after doing this, we're going to go to our first website, which we're going to need for our courses, okay? So for our unique courses, we're going to go to um, deviantart.com, okay? So um, all these links, I'll be leaving them in the description for you guys. So you can just follow accordingly, all right? Here in DeviantArt, we have this uh, Windows 11 courses concept free by Jepri Creations. Ensure to create an account here. You also have to log in, uh, otherwise, you're gonna have issues downloading the files. Having said that, we're gonna download by clicking the download icon here. So, download is complete. I'm gonna select this and gonna go all the way to the folder. So, here we already have these uh, Windows 11 courses in our file explorer. Then, we're gonna proceed to extract it. Just select and right click on it. Uh, you have an option here to extract all. Since I'm using WinRAR, I'll just proceed to show more options and extract here. Here we have these two folders. We have this dark or light. All right, it's simply that you want a dark cursor or you want the light team cursor. So I'm going to select the light and um, select cursor. So proceed, um, go on to install here. I like that. Right click on it. For Windows 11 users, go down to show more options. Left click on that. Then you want to select install. Then here you get this pop up. All you have to do is to um, click on this arrow down. Then you select this Windows 11 cursor by Jeff Precreations. Just left click on that. Click OK. If you get a pop up like this, just click OK. As we can see, we have this brand new cursor. We're not done yet. We go to the next step. Proceed to minimize this. Now we'll go to the next site. Um, here we have the rounded TB in github.com. So just scroll down the way and scroll down until you see this rounded TB zip file. Just left click on that. All right. Once that's done again, we'll go to our folder. Here in our downloads, we already have the rounded TB zip file, but we're not going to extract it just yet. Um, this time we're going to do something different. We're going to go to um, this PC, expand this PC, and under here, you just want to go to your C drive with Windows C. Left click on that. Here you want to create a new folder. Just go up here, click on this arrow down and folder, right? So we're going to rename this folder. Then just make it rounded. TB, click enter, and now you're gonna add back to this rounded TB. Right click on it, and this time I'm gonna use this extract all. Just left click on that and go to browse. You wanna go back to Windows C. As we can see, we have this rounded TB here. Okay, just select this one, select folder, then select extract. So what happens is all the files from download are directed to your Windows C. Having done that, what you want to do is scroll down all the way until you find this rounded TB application. Oops. I light and right click on it and run as administrator. When you get this pop up, just click OK. This. So you want to select advanced. Put a check on this. Check this. Here you can try. This is your choice on how you want it to be. But here I'm going to set the radius to two and 
I'm just gonna put this on somewhere around um, 18. Okay, I haven't done that. Just apply. Yeah, we can see um, we have this rounded tax bar, but it's not centralized. Now to fix this, you have to right click on here, go to personalize, go to your taskbar, scroll down all the way to taskbar behaviors. On the taskbar behaviors, you want to scroll down a bit further. Here on taskbar alignment, select this and click center. As we can see, the taskbar is now at the center. We're just going to exit, exit all this. X. As we can see, we have this clean looking taskbar with the curve edges. And when you hover to the right side here, um, you have this other part of your taskbar. Um, you want to go here under this rounded TB icon. Just right click on this rounded TB icon. You want to check on this run a startup okay so uh, whenever you put on your computer the taskbar automatically takes this shape now we proceed to the third website we have um, um, this rainmeter.net all you have to do is to scroll down a bit here and um, click on this download link okay once that's done just go down here same like we did before and that would direct us to our file explorer here we are now downloads just um, go right here to rainmeter and current version here is 4.5.17 at the time of making this video you just want to right click on it and run as administrator okay select your language Ensure to select the standard installation and click next. Okay, install. Once that's done, just finish. All right. After installation, you're going to get um, this welcome to Rainmeter and orders on your desktop. What you're going to do now is to right click on this and on load skin just to get rid of it first. You're going to do the same on this order three. Right click on load skin, right click on load skin and right click load skin we just leave things the way they are right now then we proceed to download the next one so here we are in imagemagic.org you want to scroll down all the way and here we're going to look for this one that says imagemagic.exe click on that link and again you want to go back here select this arrow and here we are now download so just right click on this image magic so right click on it and run as administrator I accept the agreement, click on next, next, next. And we just leave things the way they are here. We don't have to select anything else here. Just go on to next and install. Next again and finish. Straight away after doing this, we're going to go again to our fifth link. Here when the event heart again, ensure you have created an account and you've logged in. Yeah, you have to do that before you can download files from here. Now again, go down to this arrow icon and select that. Left click on that. Proceed again to our download folder. Here we have the modular clocks by Jack's Origin. Just double click to launch it. Select install. Right now, um, one over down here. Um, left click on this. Then select this rain meter icon. Normally we should see the modular clock here. If it doesn't appear here, don't worry. Just go down here, select refresh all. As you can see, we have the Jazz Core installer here ready. You want to go here and expand it. All right. So go down here, select this, then select load. Here in this um, Windows PowerShell, it says turn on. It gives us two options, Y or N. Tap on Y, enter. All right. So you want to go here, select get started, continue. Then you want to go down here and select continue again. Just select continue and proceed. Over here, you're just going to choose I will get them later. Left click on that. So we have a couple of choices here. What we need now is the clock. So we just go ahead to select these M clocks. On that modular clocks, you want to go right here and left click on this arrow icon. Okay. And we have this um, PowerShell coming out again. Now just go and select this little white dot here to close this log. All right. Here we are in general settings. So you want to go to the top left here and toggle this on to activate your modular clock. Okay. So here we have all the options you can choose from here. Whatever you feel like you, you want to use on your desktop, then you just go for it. For the sake of this video, I'll just select this. The style, as you can see, this one here. Now, if we close this modular clocks, just exit and we go onto our desktop, uh, we can see that we have this um, time 
temperature and the date. You can right click on these and align, select align and choose center. All right. It brings this down a bit, just the perfect position for this widget. So now I'll show you how to access the modular clock in case you want to configure or change anything in the settings. Just right click on here and choose configure in core. As you can see, we're back here to this modular clocks settings. If you go onto your left here, you want to select general. So you have the choice of um, choosing any, any other widget um, according to your taste. So here in the style options, you have the widget size. At first, you have the clock front. Uh, you can change this if you want. Um, you have this um, align, you know, if you want your, if you want this to be on the left, put it on the left, on the right, or center. So I just let it be where it is. So um, every other setting is just fine. Uh, this it with the modular clock, and you can just configure it according to your taste, all right? Just close this. And the final thing we want to do is to change the wallpaper. All right, so we go back on Google then. So here I've already chosen this wallpaper in wallpapercave.com. I will just proceed to download it. Actually up to you guys, um, whichever one you want to use is your choice. I'll go ahead and open it. So here now downloads, all you have to do is just go here. Highlight on the wallpaper, right click on it and set as desktop background. Once we close this, close everything, we can see the changes right here. We now have this clean and um, very simple artistic outlook on our desktop. Uh, you can use any wallpaper of your choice. If you have wallpapers that are more beautiful than this, you can proceed to use that. Do this according to your taste, guys. One final thing I can do is to make it all transparent okay i have posted a video that will teach you how to make your taskbar transparent i hope this video helped you if you did leave us a comment um and if you are to subscribe to our channel and also turn on the notification so you get notified when we post contents like this thank you guys have a nice day see you in the next video peace out